It's uh, it's nerve wracking, uh, but a lot of fun. Saw a bunch of pictures of you and Ricky out in uh, the gas limb. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We. Uh, yeah. It's been fun. I love. I, it's it's uh, one of the wildest things I've ever been to. <laughs> I was saying it's cool to see everyone be who they want to be, you know? Mm -hmm. Everyone's showing their true colors here, <laughs> which is cool. Yeah. If you want to be a Targaryen, be a Targaryen, you know? Uh, yeah. So can you talk a little bit about where Jasper is as the season begins? Um, well, uh, what I can say is that, you know, I was on the drop ship uh, when we exited and uh, all the grounders were charred, it was the same with some of our friends maybe, um, but uh, uh, when the gas comes in and the, the mountain men arrive, uh, I'm with Clark and, and that group, so I'm in Mount Weather, and that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I can say. I've been saying this. Uh, I don't know. I just don't want to get killed on the show because that happens. So I'm watching my words. You already saved yourself once, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm watching my words here. You know. So um, I know you guys are really close, like with like connecting with the fans and things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, what has been like some like of the best stories that you've seen uh, come out of like your interaction with the fans? Um. Jeez. What was really cool to see everyone, like, really take to just those goggles <laughs> that Jasper had, and it, it became a thing. Um, uh, Goggle Boy, and uh, there was like a whole competition where everyone was wearing goggles, and uh, that was cool. Um, I don't know, it's cool to see fans freak out as well over, you know, a big twist in the storyline. When you see the all caps, you know, you've done a good job, you know. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm trying to think of specifics. I don't know. Uh, it's amazing fan videos. And like, someone dressed as Raven here, which is cool. Um, yeah, it's nice to have dedicated. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. What is the biggest challenge that Jasper's going to face and the group's going to face in the, you know, in this new environment that they're in? Hmm. Uh, well, we're, I mean, we're entering a place that we don't really know anything about. Um, and we came from a world where we were locked up our whole lives. So, um, I mean, for this season, it could either go really horribly for these these kids, the hundred, um, probably like the fifty or whatever now. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think the conflict, is like the first season, is always going to be we don't know our surroundings, and we don't really know what we're in for. Um, just like the audience, these characters are kind of in the dark, and um, we figure it out with them. So I think that's going to be a big challenge uh, for all of them, is, is trying to figure out your surroundings. Um, what is this place? Is it good or bad? Um, uh, yeah. Do you think they feel more safe now? Or do, you, do you think that, like, That's the thing. I think it can go both ways for for any character. You know, I mean, this is a new place. Must be shocking. We just came from war. You know, uh, so the reaction could either be really uh, grand in a, in a good way or really, you know, horrifying. Depends on what we uncover. Depends on what we, you know, what we run into and what we learn about. Um, because nothing on the surface is is what it is. You know, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> so in season one, Jasper is kind of like he's part of the main group, but he's not really. He's like slowly taking on more like leadership and like he's like taking like action. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see him take on a way bigger leadership role in the second season now that the two guys are off, I don't know, alive, dead? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I mean, uh, I always thought as Jasper as the guy in the back who, um, you know, was kind of a fan of of the spacewalker Finn and um, Clark, you know, the princess, um, because you know they're they're these people who are very commanding, or, or they, you know, they've done things in their lives that are like exciting to Jasper. I always thought of him as like the small town kid. You know, came from a small town. He's like happy to see like 
like, like looks at Finn like he's Tom Cruise or something, you know? Um, and uh, yeah, to see that transition of him kind of taking a back seat, happy to be along with the cool kids, and then kind of becoming someone who needs to, you know, take action because if you don't, you're going to die or, or whatnot. Um, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll progress further into that with, with Jasper and um, I think he's becoming more of a strong person. You know, he's, he's kind of finding himself a little bit more and maybe even becoming a little more confident uh, in his own body because I, uh, I always felt like he was, you know, a little uncomfortable and, and excited to, to be around these people and then slowly becomes we're in hell and what do I need to do to survive? Um, and then from that, he kind of finds this courage that you know, I never really knew he had. Um, yeah. He also kind of was responsible for triggering the war in this sort of way. It's true, but he also ended it. Right. So does that, I mean, does that still make him maybe more hesitant about things, or does yeah. that does he is, has he put that away? I think um, that's something you can never probably put away. You know, there's always like, like getting speared. You know, he's got that forever. Um, uh, but yeah. I think there's a lot of weight behind the decisions that Jasper made. Um, you know, I'm respons responsible technically for a lot of deaths. Most of them on the show, I feel like, based off the war that uh, ensued after. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, because we were, we were already at war kind of before the bomb, uh, the bridge at the bomb. What am I saying? Sorry. The bomb at the bridge. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah. Um, I think the good uh, can outweigh the bad. It, it's it'll always be a struggle, you know. I, I he did a lot to save these people as well, so um, there's a lot on his moral conscience. Uh, compass. He's as confused as I am. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you.